Hey, it's my turn to tickle you now. <laughs> Did you get this girl? <laughs> well, you love tickle time. Oh. oh. Hi there, you're here. Molly and I are having fun inside our tent. Isn't it neat? Let's <laughs> uh, 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 go! Oh, tight. Bless you, Molly. calls it my nose is kaboomus. I call it annoying. Oh, sometimes it helps me if I get some exercise. I think I'll go do my clock stretch now. If there was one. But something is making me sneeze. I wonder if it's in the couch. Nope, it's not this that's making me sneeze. sneeze because of perfume. But not me. Oh, want a squirt? Very glamorous, darling. Oh, you didn't sneeze. Let's see what else is in the couch. Rubber chicken. Molly, can't help it if it's bare naked. It's a rubber chicken. There. Ah, oh, were you embarrassed? I understand. Do you feel better now? Oh, good. Uh oh. Here we go again. Ah, 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 ah. Hold on, Molly! Ah, oh, what is making me sneeze? Hey, the vacuum cleaner. Hey, you know, maybe we have dust under the couch. Dust makes me sneeze sometimes. That's probably it. I'll vacuum. Bunnies. Molly, please, that's just your imagination. 
but I do think we have dust. of all that fuzzy wuzzy dust. No more sneezes for meases. <laughs> that rhymes, doesn't it, Molly? Do you hear something? Like mosquitoes or something? Oh, maybe it's just my ears buzzing from all that noses kaboomas. I'll go pull the plug out. cleaner too. Got rid of all the dust and my sneezies. Oh, nice vacuum. What? Well, we all need to be appreciated, Molly. Anyway, work's done. Now let's play. But what? Oh, you want to play the alphabet game? All right. Get ready to guess the letter of the day. The letter of the day. Gosh, goody goodness. What is the letter for this goofy game? Mm. Going, going, gone. Can you guess? Hmm. Uh, gee. Golly. Uh, Is the wind blowing? Let's see. All you have to do is lick your finger and stick it up in the air like this, and then you can feel where the breeze is coming from. No? Hmm. Oh, pickle juice! No wind. Uh, well, I guess we won't be flying the kite today, Molly. Major Bedhead? Special delivery for Mubed. Special delivery for Mubed. Oh, <laughs> Major Bedhead, you should watch where you're going. 
<laughs> I got a move a muck on my head. Oh, Major Bedhead, I'm sorry. I just couldn't understand the word you're saying because... I got a move a muck, muck on, on my bed. bed. <laughs> oh, Major Bedhead, I think this is the funniest thing you've ever done. Boobab, <laughs> help me. Help me, ball. Help me? Oh, I think he's saying help me. Oh, I'm sorry, Major Bedhead. Of course it isn't funny. I'll help you. Here, let me pull it off. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's do the twist. Ready? What? Uh, that's very nifty, Major Bedhead, but it's no time for dancing right now. Okay, I meant like this. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no use. Oh. Oh, let me see. Maybe there's a release valve or button or something. Stop it. You're mickling me. I'm tickling you? <laughs> I didn't know you were ticklish, Major Badhead. Maybe I will? Uh, maybe I won't. Oh, nah. I won't. He said stop and... Sometimes it isn't fun to be tickled when you don't want to be. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, baby Bammy can belt. Granny? Oh, Granny marched out of here over in a... Hey, that reminds me. Yes, that might work. What? What? Granny once told me this. Marching makes your head get small. Yes, that's what she said. She said she learned it in the old country. Wanna try? Let's march. Let's march. Ready? And marching makes your head get small. Head get small. Head get small. Marching makes your head get small. Granny Garbanzo said, lift your knees and stand up tall. Stand up tall. Stand up tall. Bed had Lynette and her doll, or you must go to bed. Marching makes your head get small. Hope it shrinks just like a ball. Marching makes your head get small. We hope it works. Bed head. <laughs> Okay, let's try this one more time. <sighs> Still stuck. Oh, oh poor Bedhead, I feel so sorry for you. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Oh, well, you're sweet too. Oh, hey, why don't you sit down over here and get some rest? You must be tired. Gently, be careful, whoa, whoa, this way, careful. Just a couple more steps and sit. There you go. Hey, would you like to hold Molly for a while? It'll make you feel better, believe me. Oh, thank you. Oh, Ooh, my mom or papa. Bip in her boo. For me? Oh, a note from my Auntie Macassar. Let's see what it says. Dear Lunette, there is something I want you to know about me. I am a champion. I have the very best sneeze in the world. We call it the Macassar sneeze, and wow, is it a humdinger. I wonder if you have a champion sneezer, too. It could come in handy sometimes and be a lot of fun. <laughs> Love, Auntie. Just call me Kaboomus Macassar. Kaboomus. That's it. My nose is Kaboomus. My great big sneeze. <gasps> Major. Oh, wait. Yes. I'm free. I'm free. I'm saved. Free at last. I'm free. <sighs> oh, thank you, Lunette. Boy, you're not only a champion sneezer, but you're also a champion friend. Well, you're very welcome. How am I ever going to repay you? Well, I don't know. I guess you could go fly a kite. Huh? With me. The wind's blowing now. Can't you hear it? Oh, come fly a kite with me. OK, come on, Molly. We're going to go fly a kite. Come on, Molly. Okay. You sit here, Molly. We'll be right back. Okay. All set? Yep. Let's go.
Ready? Yep. on it now? Your turn. A story? Sounds good to me. to have good light. Comfy? Good. Because this story is called Windmill Willie. Once upon a time, there was a little boy. A little boy named Willie. He didn't live in a house. He didn't live in an apartment. He didn't live in a trailer park or on a boat. Willie lived in a big windmill. Willie lived in a big windmill with his mother and his father. Willie liked to watch the big sails of the mill spin and spin in the wind around and around. And he liked the creaky sound they made. Windmill Willie's mother and father liked to hear that creaky sound too. Because when the windmill turned round and round in the wind, it pumped the water they needed for their cow Brana and the chickens, and of course for the garden full of carrots and corn, potatoes and pumpkins. But one day there was no wind, not a breeze. The windmill was still. The next day, not a puff. And the next, and the next, nothing. No creaks, no groans, no turning, spinning windmill. The wind had stopped. Willie wondered why. Mama, where's the wind? Will it come back? His mother didn't know. Papa, if the wind never blows again, how will we get water for our cow Brana and the chicks and for the pumpkin patch? His papa frowned and said, It is past your bedtime, Willie. Get to bed. But Papa... No buts, Willie. Bedtime. So Windmill Willie climbed all the stairs up to his little room, by himself. He looked out the window. His mother and father were in the garden with a bucket of water they carried all the way from the stream. I don't want to go to bed. Here, Mama, I'll blow you a kiss. But she was too busy bending over the garden to even notice. So Windmill Willie went to bed, and Willie had a dream. A windy dream of a dreamy wind, blowing, growing, getting bigger. The windmill sails turned and turned, getting faster and faster until <gasps> the top of his windmill lifted up and up and flew Willie across the world. It was better than a helicopter ride. Willie could see everything from his flying window. Flags dancing on flagpoles in Flanders, kites over Kowloon, laundry on the line in Labrador, sailboats on the Sargasso Sea. <gasps> Look out! A tornado in Tomogamy. Hold on, it's a hurricane in Halifax. Boy, this wind can blow. Up and up the windmill blew. It flew past the hot air balloon race, past the thunderclouds full of lightning, up almost to the moon. A moon breeze blew across Windmill Willie's face like a tickle. Willie opened his eyes. He wasn't flying through the skies in his windmill. No, he was in his bed all the time. But there was a breeze blowing across his cheeks. Willie looked up at his window. <gasps> he rubbed his eyes. Around, around, slowly around, the sails of the windmill turned. <gasps> the wind was blowing again. Willie jumped out of bed. He peeked out his window, and down in the garden, he saw his mama and papa hugging. They were very happy. The wind was blowing and blowing. The windmill creaked and groaned as the sails turned faster. His mama turned and blew him a kiss, and Windmill Willie blew one back. Then he put on his wooden shoes. Time to water Brana the cow.
The end. Ha! Huh. Windmill Willie. Hmm. Hey, I wonder if he could see us flying our kite. Oh, I like that story. Oh, that would be bad if the wind stopped, wouldn't it? No wonder his parents were frowning. They were worried. But when Mill Willie didn't know that, he was too busy dreaming about blowing around the world like the wind. Hey, that gives me an idea. I want to be a wind dancer, a whirlwind. Come watch me. the wind is to be a fresh, pure, clean breeze in this world filled with fuzzy, wuzzy... F hey! Who made this big mess? I did? You're right. Sure it wasn't a tornado? Didn't think so. Well, then, I have to clean it up. It's my mess, and it's only fair. So get ready for the 10-second tidy. Ready, set, go! This has been such a busy day. What with noses, kaboomis, and tubas, and vacuums. Who am I ready for some quiet time? Oh, but first, would you like some tickle time, Molly? Okay. Molly likes to be tickled sometimes. Here we go. Tickle, 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 tickle. Ah, 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 ah. Shoo! Huh. Thanks, Molly. You're a doll. Well, I'm glad you could come over to play. Sweet dreams. <laughs> 